Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit about what my art means to me. And I think it's, what makes this difficult is that uh, this is visual art, and it's making a visual statement. You can't really describe it in words, only obliquely. So anything I say is, uh, as I say, it's oblique, it's in reference to, but it can never really say what the painting is or what it means, because it's a visual statement. And so you have to have a visual experience with it. So keeping that in mind, let me talk a little bit about my painting. Let's take this one for example. What I like to do in my art is travel a line between accident, improvisation, and deliberation. So that I, I keep wanting to get that balance in there, to stay on the line. When a painting becomes uh, too determined, too purposeful, when I'm filling in all the little lines and making sure that every little bit is just so, then I call that overdetermination or uh, too mechanical, too planned. I like my work to come out of the process itself as I paint. So I go through these stages where uh, I'm listening to loud music and I'm, I'm painting wildly. I'm moving my arms on the canvas. And you can see these broad lines come about through quick movements, through gesture. And you have to take a risk with that. You have to just go and not worry about what's happening. So my painting goes through several stages where I'm working very fast in this improvisation. And other times I sit and I stare at the painting and say, hmm, how can I make this work? So often I will leave things in like the drips you see here. Things that look rough, that look unplanned, that look like accidents. And what I try to do is to somehow make that into a coherence, make it into a visual experience that works. What does that mean to work? As I say, it's something you can't put into words. It has to do with composition, it has to do with colors working together, with uh, shapes and lines and so forth, uh, coming into a balance, but not a complete balance. There has to be that movement, and I think that's one thing people see in my art, is movement and energy. And that comes out of the energy that I put into the painting. I'm always moving. Of course I'm also reflecting at times, and uh, just staring and looking. But I think for me, the exciting part is what happens when I just, just do it. I just paint without thinking. Because it's visual, as I said at the beginning. It's a visual experience. I'm not thinking in words when I paint. I am reacting to the colors, the line, the form. And that's where the excitement happens. And that's what painting means to me. Thank you.